Hey, Assalamualaikum. For SEO, finding a low competition keywords that have got uh, uh, you know low difficulty, uh, that's very important. When I say finding low competition keywords, I precisely refer to those keywords that have got modest competition, not precisely low, but modest, uh, ranging between 100 to 1K or 1K to 10K. And at the same time, their keyword difficulty is less. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find low competitive keywords to begin with and uh, three tools where you can uh, populate all the keywords you have selected using a website and then uh, save all those keywords in an Excel or a CSV file. So in the long run, you can create different blog posts. Now, when I say create different blog posts, uh, the idea is you talk about one particular niche, you search all the uh, keywords that have got less difficulty, and then you start writing different blog posts for those different keywords. You can't focus on 10 or 10 plus keywords in a one blog post. So the good idea is to divide them into a set of three and then write three different blog posts, which would essentially mean that you're focusing on three keywords or maybe even less than three keywords in one particular blog post. So you can actually write different blog posts and at the same time you can search for uh, those keywords that have got uh, good, moderate, low competition and uh, high traffic, less difficulty. So without wasting time, I'm going to take you to my screen and uh, the links of these websites, which I'm about to show you on the screen, they are already given in the description of this video. So this is the website called keyword.io and it's an amazing website it lets you find free keywords for google youtube amazon and then you can see the list of other websites uh, in the main tab section so we're going to focus on google and i'm going to focus on a keyword so for discussion sake assumingly if i want to write a blog post on social media marketing so I'll select United States as a search engine. That's where everybody wants traffic from. And I'm going to click on search button. So uh, it's going to load few keywords and then it's going to show me all the keywords uh, that are related for the keywords, uh, keyword I have populated. So uh, it opens a pop-up window and I'm going to click on no thanks. I want to continue without signing in and don't want to download any keywords. Now on the left hand side, you see all the keywords, advantages of social media marketing, about social media marketing. So I'm going to select few, just a handful number. And on the right hand side, you see all the keywords I've selected. They are pushed on my dashboard. So I'm going to, uh, you know, settle down for 26 keywords. And these are the keywords I want to see volume as well as their difficulty. Now for the keyword selection, there are only two things you need to count for. One is the volume, which is actually the competition. And second is the difficulty. So I'm going to take you, before we do it, I'm going to select all these keywords. Give me a second. So there you go. Right click, copy. Now I'm going to take you to a website called KW Finder. And uh, I'm going to take you to my second screen. There you go. Share screen. Now, KW Finder is a free website that lets you search the uh, volume and the competition for your keywords or for different keywords for that matter. So it's an amazing website. Signing up is for free. You can sign up using your social media accounts or you can sign up using your email account. So all you're required to do is go on the left hand side. It says KW Finder. You click on this KW Finder. It's a dashboard you'll see as soon as you log in. Okay. So I click on KW Finder. It takes me to a new tab. I'm going to come back to my main parent tab because that's what I'm sharing with you. And then uh, right here, you can see a different uh, attributes. One of the tab on the top says import. 
So I click on import. It brings me to this uh, page where I can actually upload a CSV or I can paste all the keywords I have selected. So I'm going to, oh, I actually selected this keyword. So I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to copy all the keywords and paste them here. There you go. You can only import 25 keywords. So that's fine. I'm going to remove few and uh, one removal makes my job easier. So on the right hand side, you see process keywords. I click on process keywords. It's processing all the keywords and uh, there you go. I see the difficulty for all the keywords. Now on the left hand side, I would be inclined and I should choose the keywords that, have got, that has got good moderate search volume. That's the, that's the search column where you see my mouse. And on the right hand side, it falls under 25 for the difficulty. 23 is good. 130 is um, reasonable amount of uh, search results. Uh, they, this sounds interesting. Benefits of social media marketing. 3,400 search volume and 26 is the keyword difficulty. Now, KD on a top says keyword difficulty. That's how you select your keywords. Now, uh, I can... I can select a keyword, I can copy this, and I open a notepad, and then I place, uh, you know, all these keywords in my notepad. Uh, naturally, I will choose keywords that have got a good search volume and less keyword difficulty score. Um, and then it's, it's a manual process. There you go, another interesting keyword, best social media marketing books, 1,200. 25 is the 28 is the keyword difficulty. Uh, talking about those keywords that have got less search volume, here's something interesting. For example, I select this Amazon social media marketing that has got 130 search results, but it falls in a keyword difficulty of 23. Now, I'm going to take you back to my camera. Listen, many bloggers they make a mistake of uh, going with keywords that have got search volume over 1500 2000 but if i tell you selecting a keyword less than 500 would not hurt you as a matter of fact if you can select many similar keywords that have got less uh, you know search volume and if you start writing different blog posts at least you're giving yourself a chance of getting indexed for those business related keywords. So if I select uh, the keyword that's in question, I've already selected uh, social Amazon social media marketing. And if I write a blog post about it, there's a good chance that I can rank for this keyword as well as I can also rank for suggested keywords related to this main keyword. Now for the suggested keyword, I'll take you to another website where you can uh, find all these uh, suggested keywords. But the best idea, my friend, is go for the keywords that have got less difficulty. Regardless of the search volume, at least focus on the keywords that have got KD less than 25. Anything less than 25 is easily rankable. Everything above 25 for a new website is pretty hard to rank. Now, uh, I'm going to select this keyword, Amazon Social Media Marketing, and I'm, I want to see other related uh, keywords, suggested keywords for this main keyword. So there's another website called Neil Patel, and uh, I will take you to its Uber Suggest. I paste in the keyword, click on the search. It's going to populate the search results here and uh, loading as we speak. Keyword ideas on the left hand side. And there you go. Amazing social media marketing SD, which is the keyword difficulty in, in, in case of Neil Patel, it suggests it is suggesting that it's uh, 12 uh, while the other website KWD finder was saying it was around 23. And it says that it's a, it has got search volume of 30, but the CPC cost per click. If I were you, 
I would write a blog post about Amazon social media marketing. And remember, the reason why we have got to Neil Patel's Uber Suggest website is to find the other related keywords. So you might just be inclined to pick these keywords and start writing about these less uh, volume keywords. So that's one way to find the keywords that have got uh, uh, low volume or uh, high volume or a moderate volume. And at the same time, uh, you know, there's uh, difficulty falls under 25. These three websites, all of them are free. You can sign up for free. You can use their daily quota and, uh, you know, you can uh, search your business related keywords. Now, there's another website called semscoop.com. Let me take you to semscoop.com and show you how this website works. So on semscoop.com, if you look at my screen, this is another amazing website. It lets you find uh, all the keywords and then the search results related to the keywords. So if in this case, I search for learn freelancing and it's, uh, you know, showing me all the volume and the search results related to learn freelancing. 35%, if I move my mouse over, it says keyword difficulty score that indicates whether it's easy or hard to rank. 35% is a little difficult, but that's another website. You can find high volume keywords with less ST, uh, you know, uh, difficulty score. For your blog to rank, it must have keywords that have got less competition and you should use those keywords when you're writing a blog post because the way Google indexes your blog post is by indexing the keywords you have included in it. And those keywords must be the keywords people are searching for. You can go and talk about anything, but if you do not include the keywords people are searching for, there's no chance you'll you'll be, uh, you know, searchable on Google or any other search engine for that matter. So there's a advice for everybody, especially the bloggers. If you create a blog post, do your 80 20 Pareto principle exercise first, which predominantly refers to search for the keywords, which people are searching for, include those keywords in your blog post. This way you are giving yourself a chance. And when you search for the keywords, Make sure you search for the keywords uh, using the websites I've given in the uh, uh, you know, description. Keywords that have got good moderate volume and the keywords that have got less difficulty. They are uh, you know, the keywords you should uh, include in your blog post. They are the keywords you can at least get ranked for, even if you are a new website. Try and uh, I look forward to your comments uh, when you give it a try. Thank you.